Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Brave Browser has announced that it is now testing Agentic AR in its nightly build, which is an early preview version. And this word Agentic is starting to creep in everywhere. Microsoft has announced its so-called 2030 vision, where it wants Windows to become an Agentic OS. Chrome has already headed in that direction. I'll leave a video for Chrome um, injecting AR everywhere into the browser. I'll leave that link down below. And even Mozilla, as I posted earlier today, has announced that it's going to be making Firefox into an AR browser. So that word agentic is starting to creep in everywhere. And agentic basically means that the browser or an OS can think for itself under certain circumstances without human intervention. Now, this is all according to a post over on X and this announcement dated the 10th of December. And Brave has said over on X that Brave has launched an experimental AR browsing mode in its nightly build, featuring opt-in controls, running in an isolated browsing profile, and layered security defenses to address risks like indirect prompt injection and data exposure. Now Brave says that it's approaching AR browsing cautiously and is considering the security risks. And these so-called prompt injections basically mean that web pages could trick the AR to transmit sensitive data to the website. So that's why Brave is taking a so-called cautious approach to agentic AR in the nightly version. And it's still in very early preview, so obviously there's still quite a bit of work to do. Now, if we head to the announcement and we scroll down, Brave gives us a couple of pointers here regarding Agentic AR in its browser. It says that AR browsing is currently available only in the nightly channel behind an opt-in feature flag. And if you are testing features in Brave, the flag you're looking for is Brave's AR browsing. So you just search for AR browsing. I'm not testing features in nightly. But if you are, just do a search for AR browsing and you'll get the relevant flag. And this will all work using Leo, which is Brave's built-in AR chatbot. So this is all going to work through Leo AR. And Brave carries on to say that AR browsing happens only in an isolated browsing profile, keeping your regular browsing data safe. Now, this isolated browsing profile is quite important because it uses a separate storage to ensure that cookies, caches, loggings, and so on from your regular browsing data are protected, which I think is important. And when you enable the Agentic AR features, the browser then creates a separate profile that is exclusively used for the AR agent, which I think, as mentioned, is definitely a step in the right direction. Brave carries on to say that AR browsing has restrictions and controls built into the browser. AR browsing uses reasoning-based defenses as an additional guardrail against malicious websites. The AR browsing experience has to be manually invoked, ensuring that users retain complete control over their browsing experience. And like all AR features in Brave, AR browsing is completely optional off by default. So if and when this makes it to stable, there's obviously going to be a toggle, which I think is a nice move when we get choice. Now, in regards to ensuring that users retain complete control over their browsing experience, basically users will be in control while the AR agent performs its task and will be able to view the session as the AR works and be able to pause it or stop it at any time regarding that AR browsing session. And Brave says, in this announcement, which by the way, I'll leave linked in the description because it's quite lengthy. I'm just going over the details for the purpose of this video. Brave says that its AI has a strict no logs, no retention data privacy policy, and that it does not train its models or use data. The AI browsing mode works with the browser's protections, including the actual ad blocker, which is the built-in shields. Now, I use Brave as my secondary browser for this channel. 
I'm quite happy that there isn't too much AI in Brave. And a big one for me is that Brave is known to be a private browser. That's why I do use it for the purpose of my channel. So let me know your thoughts down below. Do you think that this will deter you from using the browser in the future? Where Brave says it's going to be injecting agentic AI capabilities into the browser? Do you think it'll cause you to move to another browser even if it's opt-in and is off by default? Let me know your thoughts down below. would be interested to hear. I personally think when it does come to the stable version, if and when it does come to the stable version, that this is a feature that I will leave turned off. But nonetheless, let me know your thoughts. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.